Hi, my name is Christina Mendez, and I am the CEO and founder of Irene Marie Consulting, a marketing consulting firm that specializes in building marketing campaigns for lifestyle brands and small businesses. So it's funny, um, growing up, I had, a, I had a crazy childhood. I had a really hard childhood. Um, I was on my own by the time I was 15. Um, I had my first baby. I got pregnant at 17, had her at 18. Then I had another baby, 19 going to 20. Then I had another one at 21. Um, but it's funny, like, I really thought I had to be somebody I wasn't. So I was trying to, like, do what my parents told me to do, get a good job, do, like, follow the, the mold that they set for me. But my dad is an entrepreneur. My dad has been a photojournalist for 30 years. And I've gotten fired from every job I've ever had. And it's funny, every time I would get fired from a job, I would be like, I don't need this. My dad worked his own schedule. I don't need to do this. I'm not listening to you. My dad runs his own thing. And so finally, when I had got to the top of the tier of what I could go to, and I still wasn't happy, I'm like, I'm not supposed to be starting my own business. So it's funny, like my childhood really did set me up for that. But again, because I wasn't aligned, I was trying to listen to what everyone else, you know, told me to do or how it was supposed to be. But in all actuality, I came back to my truth, came back to how I was. But I'm, I'm self-taught. I didn't, I didn't go to school for this. Nobody taught me anything. I had to really figure this out, kids and all. I was already doing marketing in my career. Um, I was a marketing director. Um, I worked my way up to become a marketing director. Um, and I got tired of working on campaigns and doing marketing for stuff that I really wasn't passionate about and I didn't believe in. So I decided to go into business for myself. I'm like, I can do this for myself and be able to pick the campaigns and pick the people I work with and be able to do marketing that really meant something to me. Um, and so one day I just went into my boss's office. I asked them for a raise. They told me no, I quit. <laughs> and I've been doing this ever since. No day is ever the same. Um, I'm a single mom, I have three kids, so it could range from waking up in the morning, looking at analytics, making social media posts. Um, I'm also a web developer, looking at what, what code I have to build for the day. Then um, I stop at two o'clock because I have three kids, they go to two different schools. I have to pick up all my kids and then at night I have Zoom calls all day or I have networking meetings or um, I teach a class, so life is hectic. Then the weekends are photo shoots and creative directing films or whatever the, the campaign kind of consists of. So I'm all over the place all the time. <laughs> it's hard. Um, you're always constantly having an internal struggle between spending time and being present and getting your work done. Um, I am very, very involved in my kids' life. We're very, very close. So um, all of my kids require a different person from me, and then all of my clients require a different person from me. So it is a big balance um, to be aligned with myself, be aligned as a mom, and be present for my clients. So um, it's a lot of hard work, but how I like mitigated it is I bring my, my kids kind of into my business. So when I'm working on stuff, I'll be like, come in here. Like, does this post look cool or like what y'all think of this website or like I literally take their advice um, into consideration when I'm building stuff. My daughter Madison, she's 12. I say she's like a CEO here because she literally helps me make decisions. I'm like, Maddie, keep it real. Like, what does this look like? And she'll say like, nah, that's not it or that's it. So they kind of, they've been on this journey with me this entire time. They go everywhere with me. They go to shoots with me. So it's, they're used to it now. It's like part of their life. If I wasn't doing it like this now, they would be like, is business slow? Like, what's, what's the matter? We don't got no photo shoots to go to today? So it's, it's normal now, but it was hard when I first started. Blue is very important to me. Um, so if you don't know, I'm a very big Nipsey Hussle fan. I have them tattooed on my arm. Um, and again, when I was talking about having, being aligned, I started this business um, and I started out like every girl boss starts it out, you know, with the pink and the suits and um, Nipsey died and Nipsey has always been somebody that has, I've listened to him in my darkest of hours. I listened to him as a single mom riding the bus. I listened to him through heartbreak. I've just listened to him. So when he died, it was literally like, I know this sounds crazy, but it was like my life shattered. Like everybody was calling me like, Christina, are you going to be okay? And 
it made me kind of take herself out of the self. Like he really was here to be aligned and be authentic. And in that moment, I'm like, damn, am I going to keep being fake or am I going to be who I really am? And so from then on, I changed everything. Um, I'm really big on color psychology. That's important within marketing. Um, color means everything. And so I, when I was doing my self audit, I'm like, what represents me? What are my core values of my company? What do I care about? I care about being honorable. I'm really big on being a real one. I'm really big on respect. You're not going to play me or play my clients. So blue was the perfect way to embody that. And then beyond that, um, blue helps with divinity and being aligned with self. So it's not only in my business, but I wear it on me. Everything I have, I always have on blue somewhere because it reminds me to um, tap into my own intuition, um, tap into my own wisdom, um, and be honorable. Like above all else, I want to be honorable. Um, and so I have, I have to carry that with me. So I want to make sure that whatever client that comes to me, we're going to do a campaign that honors your brand and honors the world and does something. I don't want you to think that we're just gonna do like some fun, cute stuff that I'm not the I'm not the marketing consultant for that. We need to do something that's going to leave the world a better place or change something within your industry. I am originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, life in my childhood brought me here uh, when I was uh, 15, 15 going on 16, it gets blurry. <laughs> and so I was raised by my grandmother. Um, and so that's kind of how I got to Dayton. And it's funny, I actually thought about like moving back to Cincinnati because it's there's such a bigger city and I'm, there's more opportunities as well. But again, being honorable and to myself, I, didn't, I felt like moving was running. Like I didn't wanna move until I've established myself here. And there's so many amazing, beautiful people in Dayton, Ohio that we get looked over because like the common theme is like, oh, I gotta move to Atlanta. Oh, I gotta move here to make it. And, Something Nip said is like, if you can't get back to your city and you can't put your city on, like, who are you? And so even though I'm from Cincinnati, like, Dayton made me. So I can't leave until I feel like I've done everything that I can do here first. And so that's kind of why I decided to stay in Dayton. That's why I'm committed to helping the people of Dayton because we are so dope. We just need the tools and the resources and the strategy to market and do what we need to do. I'm Christina Mendez, and I'm an entrepreneur.